Hey guys, this is OK State 56, and today's objective is to introduce you all to the uh, CSV file import export function on the EADB editor for NCAA for Football 14. Um, in case you guys didn't know, I'm part of a simulation league called the F College Football Simulation League, which you can find at collegesimleague.com. It is just a sim league where you create a player. You choose their name, their likeness, image, position. Um, you can choose an archetype for how they play on the field. Then you just go through this really cool, realistic recruiting process on our Discord server. And then once you sign with the team that you like, you can watch your player and your teammates live on Twitch during their streams on PX1 Sports. Um, they stream every week, Monday through Friday. So check that out if you haven't already. Again, that's at collegesimleague.com. So this is an instructional video for just the ADs and the coaches for the CFSL mainly so that when the new website function goes live this week, you can utilize that CSV file import export function to update your team week to week as you, guys, as you get guys to upgrade. Um, and then you can also use this function to more quickly edit other full team rosters um i will be putting together what the abbreviations for each uh attribute stands for so that you guys can figure that out a lot quickly so first thing you're gonna need to do if you are on pc you're gonna follow your instructions like i've outlined in the manual um you need to find your roster first that you want to edit. So this is my file. I'm going to change this to an MCO2 file. And then once that's good to go, you're going to open up your DB editor. You can open this guy. Actually, it doesn't load right if you do that first. So go to load config. And then go to Zan's NCAA 14 roster config. Open that up. And then I like to maximize. And then you want to actually open that roster file. So I keep mine on the desktop. I'm just using College Football Revamps roster for this example. So we're going to open that guy up. It's listed as an MCO2 file. So now we're going to open it takes a few moments to load most of the time. So obviously, if you are loading a roster file from the website in, you won't be exporting first. But just for the sake so that you guys know how to export a CSV file, and then you can then import it. I'm going to show you how to export it first. So, the first thing you'll do, this is your whole roster. Um, what, what you'll do is you'll come up here to this I slash O. When you want to export, all you have to do is go to here. And then, I, I've never tried the single before, but what I typically do is all visible. Single, I would assume that if you click on this, you go there. And then click that. It would just do the one that um, is highlighted. But for this case, we, we want to use this for a mass import-export uh, function. So what you can actually do is, let's say my team is Air Force. Right now, I can see every team is in NCAA 14. So if I want to, I can make a CSV file that is all every team in NCAA 14. Or what I can do is I can go to filter. I can add the filter. Go to team ID. And then just pick a team that works for you. So for example, we're going to use Air Force just to make it nice and simple. Once we've added this, we just exit out. It's going to filter through. And now all you see are Air Force players, if you look in the Team ID tabs. So, for example, Ohio State is in our league. So if you're the AD of Ohio State, you could then take, you could, you could then uh, filter out just the Ohio State and then 
export that or import that, however you need to do that. So exporting, now that I've got Air Force's roster there, you're going to go to All Visible. Click that. This is very important. When you get to this um, step here, you're just going to click on the little arrow here. Come all the way down until you find Original Player ID. Do not click Player ID by itself right there. You have to click pl Original Player ID. So you're going to click that. And then just like before, you're just going to click the X here. It's going to ask you to rename. So now at this point, you're going to name it whatever you want to. So for example, I'll just put CFSL Air Force Roster. And then I'm going to save that. It's going to automatically be um, saved in that folder for your roster i don't really want that to happen so i'm just going to click my desktop and it's going to save right there to my desktop and there we go it's saved so now you're going to find that roster file it's right here see if it's air force roster so now i'm going to double click and open that up it is saying that you have you could possibly have data loss don't pay attention to that it's no big deal just exit out of that so you got POID. If if your roster says POID, that means you did it correctly. Okay. As you can see, everything is in a weird formatting. So today, uh, for the purposes of just getting through this quickly, I'm just going to tell you this one right here is the player throw power, or I'm sorry, throw accuracy. So I don't know who Vince. Sanford is in the roster, but I'll pull that back up when we when we get back to the editor So we know that he was 40 throw accuracy. I'm gonna make him 99 throw accuracy That's how you can edit that and then all you gotta do is click save and Then once you're done editing you just exit out It's saving there so now I've still got the Air Force mass filter on right now so as you can see Vince Sanford is the left outside linebacker for Air Force and I believe we said his throw accuracy was 40 so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do the import function so you're going to come to here import and what I would do is just click overwrite existing if you click override existing, it's only going to uh, override the existing players within the filter that you have right now. I believe you could try the override selected. That would be just the highlighted player. Um, it would not overwrite their player, uh, the original player key. So you can play around with that, but the way I like to do it is just use this override existing function. So click on that. All you have to do is go back to your desktop, find the file you were just in. Oh, I'm sorry, the uh, Excel file you were just in. So CFSL Air Force roster. I'm going to open that back up. So it loads pretty quickly that time. Now we're going to go take a look at what his throw accuracy is. And as you can see, it's now 99 throw accuracy. Just for the sake of it, if I wanted to, I could also go here and change it that quickly. Um, the whole point of the import-export function is, A, if you've got guys that are up, upgrading week to week, it's easily just exported from the website, imported into your roster, and it's done. I have created um, a table so that I know what the different abbreviations are so I can get through that a lot quicker um, using the Excel She, I'm, I'm used to it. So that's totally up to you how you want to do that. Um, the biggest thing to remember about all of this is that you have the option to switch these attribute tabs when you 
if you're wanting to export or import, leave every one of these where it shows up in the default location. Do not move. Say I want to move the jersey number from way down here because the jersey number, you have to scroll all the way over here to find jersey number. If I want to take that and drag it all the way to the front, the issue that creates is that when you get the CSV file, it puts it in the wrong location for the tabs. And so then none of the data is correctly recorded and it creates a corrupt file. So don't do that. Other than that, just let me know if you guys have questions.